Hello! I'm back with another video this week. Last time when I posted, I talked about why I wanted to start doing videos on YouTube, and this week I decided I would do a video that was a little bit more about my personal life. And one of the things that I love to do is read, and these are two of my favorite authors I'm going to talk about today, Rainbow Rawwell and Diana Gabaldon. First I'm going to talk about Diana Gabaldon. I discovered her books back, I think, about 2011, 2012. It seemed very um, out of what I would normally read. I like fantasy novels, but this sort of seemed, um, I don't want to say like Lord of the Rings or something, but it was definitely um, not in the usual type of fictional genre that I read. So I picked it up and I fell in love with it pretty much like after the first couple of chapters. So the first book in the series is called Outlander and with this first book it sort of talks about Claire. She ends up um, one morning passing through these rocks called Craig Nadoon. I hope I don't totally butcher that. And essentially she gets traveled back in time 200 years into the past and she has to try and figure out how she's gonna get back to her own present time. She ends up meeting this spell Scotsman named Jamie Fraser and it takes her and Jamie on this really amazing quest that goes through a few different books. I don't have all of the book series but I do have novels such as the second book Dragonfly and Amber. The next author I want to talk about is Rainbow Rawwell. I want to say she's my JK Rowling for adults. Well, not essentially for adults. She writes for both teens and adults, but I just, in general, adore her writing style. The first book, excuse me, Facebook, the first book that I had picked up from her was Fangirl. It was sort of introduced to me via the Indigo Coles email recommendations. I wasn't really sure what to think about it until I read the description and it literally sounded just like me when I was starting out in college. You get the main character, um, I think it's Kath, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's Kath. And she and her twin sister, Ren, are starting out their first year of college and Kath is just, she's not really good with change, but at least if her sister was there with her, it'd be fine, but her sister insisted that since they've always been together that this should be the first year that they just separate as twins. They get different roommates, they have different classes, they live different lives. The whole story, she has to try and figure out how to get through the hurdles of school with, um, even if it's her favorite class, you know, there's struggles there with people that could be taking advantage of her and her sister not really talking to her. It's a really, really neat story of just having to sort of go over extreme hurdles and the results that come from it. And I feel like that's very true with a lot of people who are just in general in college, not necessarily starting out, but it really stuck with me in that because I also in my first couple of years went through some really big hurdles and I mean, I got through them, but like just barely kind of thing. I would definitely recommend Fangirl. Some of the other books include Attachments, Landline, um, Eleanor and Park, and the recent one, Carry On. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Maybe comment below on what you like about these books if you've read them. Maybe even suggest some books to other people. I mean, even take a look at them myself. And if uh, you want, follow my social links down below there, and I will see you again soon. Bye!